sisters, soldiers, and soldierettes, thank you. And this is another edition of EBX Discussion. And I know you're doing great, because if you're alive and breathing, guess what? We are back to conquer another day. And I thank those that have been always say, man, that's just been riding along with a brother, because there are many great brothers and sisters out here, as I always say, reachers and teachers and leaders within our families and outside our families. And let's get to those honors. I honor thy ancestors whose spirit, the righteous ancestors whose spirit is still alive in amongst a lot of great brothers and sisters out here. Salute and anyone in our families that may have transitioned that we held dear. May they rest in peace and in power and all of our families our loving righteous families even those that are struggling any of our families we're connected to it's important may may we prosper and everything we touch turn to gold i think that's important mind body and soul and i'm always appreciative always encouraging always pushing out that good energy and why is it important to push out as much good energy as possible because we none of us never know what lies ahead so try our best to leave a positive impact before we leave this crazy ass planet so and, and it's getting to that point it's getting real you know it's not it's not getting real out here it is real out here and you out here playing games with life you know amongst the challenges and you know we try to have fun that we don't be serious all the time but if you ain't t- taking life serious in some aspects of it you're gonna be lost because nothing can stop those who have the power of integrity integrity is a beautiful beautiful thing but it must be invested in you have to study it um you have to work on those little inner things that i always talk about and many other reaches and teachers talk about salute always comes back to going with in we'll hear that from time to time we need to hear it a lot you know it it gets in our subconscious you know when something is done you know that's it's anything it could be negative or positive but when something is repeatedly said or done it eventually will get into your subconscious but we're gonna stick to the righteous impact of things because that's what we need in our subconscious because righteous thoughts right righteous energy within and it works its way out to the rest of your body and always say you hear me say this a lot the body always follows the mind so what the heck you got in your mind what do you think all the time you know what is what is your 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 motivation within to keep you living to keep you breathing to keep you having what integrity and is it easy having integrity no um do you have to do things to maintain it of course yes it takes a little focus you know it takes observing, studying, and what's the one key thing I always say? Not jumping off impulses. And I will always talk about impulses. That's something you hear me say a thousand times. And why do I do this, brothers and sisters? Because just take a look around, especially social media. But it really, it's really it's in the world. Because a lot of things that's going on in this world, it stems from social media. And the toxicity in social media because there are positive things on social media too. But unfortunately, there are toxic things. And a lot of it, the things that trickle out into the world that's toxic, a lot of it stems from social media because social media is a psychological thing. And if you don't have your psyche in check, you're gonna be screwed, real talk, flat out. You're gonna be fucked up, you know? So, and you don't have to be no professor or or no super intelligent person you know just read things on your psyche just focus pay attention to things especially when we're interacting on this social media you know it's very important that's why we have to always keep in our spirit and always remember the mission those of us that are reaching and teaching you know never forget why we started this walk in the first place don't get mixed and mangled in this bullshit out here in this media celebrity politics um don't worship celebrities you hear me say this time and time again never let no person place or thing become what your god 
we know who the true God is, is, even though we have different walks of life that, you know, it, actually it's only one God. There is only one God. And, and it is that one ultimate spirit. And that one ultimate spirit is what? That divine spirit within that's whole, wholesome, and trying our best to be as right as we possibly can every day. And when, we, and when we're doing that, when we're motivated to just do right with no bad intentions, we will. And, uh, and you know, second nature, it, it, it'll be nothing to us. But you have to invest in it. You have to focus. We have to meditate. We have to analyze. We have to observe and and be ready for those challenges because they will come. We can never be in a play world or, or on the cloud and, and, and think we're we're super invincible but we can think invincible it's nothing wrong with thinking invincible because when you have your mind strong and nothing on the outside toxic can fuck with it you a strong brother or sister young or old that's why it's important to always study our psyche and study different aspects of our lives and we will always be able to maintain that power of integrity because integrity is a bad motherfucker when you can when you can embed it into your system your soul your spirit you know so and we gonna all, I, this is one of them meditative moments i always talk about and i like to look up words and break it down you know and really see it for what it is because like i say i always say we see and do a lot of things sometimes we got to skirt stop and what smell the roses and kind of do a little I always say invoice on oneself you know just to keep ourselves what? Sustained. So here go the first stage of integrity. The, the quality of being honest and having a strong moral, having strong moral principles, moral uprightness. I'm gonna say that again. The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness. That's just, it's just so much good energy coming out of that. And it's just a little small little statement. At stage one. Stage two, the state of being whole and undivided, upholding territorial integrity and national sovereignty. Now, I'm going to look that up because, to be honest, I th kind of think I know what sovereignty means. I got an idea, but I want to look it up just so I'll know the real definition. See, that's that's not one of them things. We look up things so we don't be guessing at it. So it, and that's, it's, life should be about solutions results and facts and also the power in power of integrity gives you that spirit of unity because what do i always say when we keep a family spirit keeps us from being selfish and when we're empathically when we empathically have a family spirit we will be able to see into others lives without judging and when we're able to do that then we'll be able to what overstand understand and understand once we get to that understand brothers and sisters it is a wonderful wonderful beautiful place to be but it takes a lot of work to get there some might be a little more challenging than others but we know when we know we it, it, it when we're connected to that divine like we always say that higher force moves in wonderful magic ways but we have to again be in that space and our pioneer gland have to be open to see it and integrity will speak for itself you know not gonna do everything right sometimes we'll make mistakes but when we got integrity it won't bring us down and we won't succumb to the negative toxic things that are on the outside of us we'll see right through it you know integrity keeps you from selling your soul integrity again like i say helps you overstand another individual whether brother sister family member children significant other and uh, having the power of integrity protects us you know and it, it can help us protect others you know because not everybody has the same mindset not everybody is awakened so to speak and there's always areas to work on we always got to keep that in our spirit too you know keep ourselves in a learning process you know so things won't catch us off guard. That's that's another centering mechanism and another beautiful place to be. You know, be willing to learn, you know. If, if we are wrong about something, you know, accept it and go back, check it out, and 
keep it moving, you know. Can't get knocked off this path. Like I said a few minutes ago, can't forget what we started this mission for in the first place, you know. We have to remind ourselves of these things sometimes. And it's not because we, sometimes we might kind of forget, but it's not our fault. It's a lot of what we are perceiving and what we are seeing and what we are letting come into our system. I'm a stickler on that because as a lot of us, we've come from, a lot of us have been heartbroken or betrayed or, you know, and so we know what it's like to be hurt, you know, and a lot of us, you know, we fight brothers and sisters. We fight for the melanin brothers and sisters out here, but we have no hatred toward others but we can't we can't not we got to know who we are we can't be afraid of being who we are you know it's not about dividing it's about being true to oneself and knowing who we are and when we know who we are you know then it it, it, it make it easier to see the outer the out world and other individuals that we are connected to and come across and Having integrity, the power of integrity ties into all this, all this. And the more we do it, the more right things we do, the more positive impact we have. And the more we are, the, the stronger we get, the easier it becomes. And like I say, always look, be willing to look up things and study things, whether it's in our own lives, our families, our significant other our children we can never ever give up the fight giving up is not even in our vocabulary brothers and sisters not even in our system and why don't we why can't we ever ever give up again you never know what that great divine might have for us right down the road because those that are truly connected spiritually we have witnessed many great things in our lives that's 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 our sensory mechanism brothers and sisters that's what keep us going you hear me say that if not every video and podcast every other video and podcast just always do a little reflection when we come into a a stalemate in our life so to speak that's when we stop because that's those are those are the pivot points in our lives when we come into a challenge or something we think is a storm and we feel in some kind of way about it we got to pay attention to those times because in those moments can change the course of our life, either negative, negatively or positively, positively. So those are the moments, those moments where where we kind of we're not confused. But sometimes, you know, we might not. We will have a little concern. I put it like that. Those are those vital moments in our lives. Those are those are those pivot points. And all of us have been there. So those are the times when we stop and just think of all the things that we have conquered up until the point now. And then once we do that, we'll be refreshed. And and in that way, we charge ourselves and we keep marching forward, especially if we connect it to loved ones. That's what keeps me going, you know. And I said on the past podcast, even if I'm going through a challenge, I will continue to push out that great energy because we do it for that great energy divine because that great divine has done it for us all of our lives gives us life accepts all our little flaws our little mistakes and and accepts us for who we are that great divine that higher force accepts us for who we are so that's how we got to be we got to have that god like mindset not that not saying that we are god and goddesses but we can have that god and goddess spirit within there's nothing wrong with that it's nothing about arrogance it's about having that true spiritual confidence because this, you know, like, again, it don't mean we serious all the time, but at the same time, life is not no fucking game out here, you know, especially if we're connected to loved ones, family, children, significant other, you know, we got to stay intact with that psyche. You never know what's going to come at you, you know, that's in this world and this, you know, the weakest that be, you know, they coming with bullshit at every angle. So if you one of them brothers or sisters that just walking through life willy nilly and not focusing on nothing and not studying and don't have no purpose, uh, you gonna have some you gonna have some problems. You know we gotta stay somewhat focused in this life, especially in these times, as we enjoy our life at the same time. If we're able to balance like that and 
be straight on a straight plane and stay focused and keep that power of integrity, nothing can fucking touch us. Nothing can fuck with a righteous brother or sister that has true, true, real, hard, steel like integrity. Nothing can fuck with a brother and sister that has the power of integrity. And you, like I say, it'll speak for itself. And that's when you know you truly have passed many tests in your life when your integrity speaks for itself. And I wanted to speak on a little bit about my banner here. And that's me and salute. Uh, that's um, me at my son's school right there. That's the school in the background. And that's when I was um, volunteering. I haven't volunteered in a while, but I've been meditating on it and thinking about it. I had stopped volunteering because I had to kind of conserve my energy because I work and stuff. And, you know, I try to you know, be there for my significant other and my families when I can. I'd be so busy, you know, but I'm, I'm working on that, you know, but I don't forget things. I always keep things in my spirit. I don't just, you know, I'm always thinking. And so I decided to go back to volunteering. Um, and what made me want to go back to volunteering, of course, to, you know, keep an eye on my my son and my other spiritually adopted daughter she goes there too and his his sister and you know i when i because i volunteered and i've seen what the teachers go through and you know it, it when it comes to this it really don't it, it kind of race does kind of matter and it does it doesn't matter you know that's always going to be a controversial issue but i'm looking at the overall bigger picture i'm focusing on the kids here and this generation, I tell you, it's, it's a very, it's a challenge. You know, these, these kids, I, I you know, it, my heart aches of the things that they will have to experience in this new world they, they have been born in. And it's, 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 it concerns me, you know, but I don't let it get me down. So, but I'm saying all that to say, that's why I'm going back to volunteering and kind of get back in there. And again, like I said a few minutes ago, I see what these teachers go through and being a teacher in a school can be a tough job. You know, it's, you have to deal with all these different personalities, all these different kids and you, you, kids are unpredictable and they all have little inner issues that you don't know about. And it can be a tough job. So I, I definitely can understand that. So, so I thought I decided to go back to volunteering and get back in there it'd be a few hours only one day a week because again i work and you we have to conserve our energy you know but we still have to be a righteous impact to this world that's the kind of footprint we want to leave a righteous impact in this world you know and get away from the bullshit that we see deflect the unnecessary energy in our lives so we won't be blinded and we'll see the good and the humanity in the world because and I, I've always had this in my spirit. I've always been the type of brother that I, I always wanted to be a superhero. I'm just put it out there. You know, I, I, I want to be, and no, I can't fly and I can't save everybody. But we can always have that mentality. We can have that hero mentality. And that's where that integrity comes in. And integrity is what made me want to go back to volunteering. Because when you really, truly Deeply, brothers and sisters, have it embedded in your soul. You can't do no wrong. You won't do no wrong. And it'll hurt you if you do. It will. You almost break down when you see things that just ain't right, you know, and it bothers you. And I'm, I'm sure it's a lot of spiritual brothers and sisters that feel like this. And this is what make us teach. This is what make us want to put the hand on the humanity, uh, humanity of the world because I don't care where we are, and I've said this many times, I don't give a fuck where we are in our lives. Brother, sister, young, old, wherever we are in our lives, be a righteous impact in your, in your part of the world. And, and, it does, and I'm saying not saying that it's small. Wherever you are, if you feel like it's not a corner, long as you're doing righteous, remember the great divine listens to those who speak out to that higher force. And eventually others will hear it. And that's where that power of integrity comes in. So, again, like on my banner here, salute, and I'll be back to volunteering, and I will be a power force for this life in any way I can for my children, my significant other, um, my both my children, my spiritually adopted children, my biological children, my family, 
you know i will work on different areas that's what we got to do we got to do that invoice you know and change and fix and make better areas of our our, our lives and within our body mind and soul because that's what will make everything be organized and when we got that mind body and soul and spirit intact and what and that's all connected to our psyche so do whatever we can brothers and sisters to maintain our sanity our brain our life our body i don't give a fuck what we have to do and always stay within that righteous realm you know and never lose that power of integrity because it's a lot of great brothers and sisters out here that have it because i see it because it speaks for itself when you just truly naturally right within and this could be within my family or outside my family so i say again brothers and sisters can't nothing fuck with a righteous brother or sister that has deeply rooted integrity within so never ever lose that power of integrity that you have fought for your whole life and that's my word and i give honor to those who take the time to listen to another edition of ebx discussion salute and i salute the teachers the reaches and teachers out there doing their thing and may you prosper and may you get everything that you have worked for and, and achieved in this life it as well as your families and i give honor to your family i give honor to my family salute and i honor my children their mothers brothers and sisters all over the world may you please have the ultimate peace in your part of the world and don't you ever ever give up the fight and i'm gonna say again keep that power of integrity always study it never lose it it's your best weapon salute